Free Mill is a useful zero-cost 3D surface to cheat code engine distributed by Nexar. Free Mill benefits from helpful instructions wherever user input is required. Browse opens a file navigation dialog to load geometry. A range of formats are supported with STL format being in common usage for CNC relief surfaces. The relief surface is rendered in the view. View adjustment controls are available if required. Next advances to cut direction options. The default assumed surface displacement will be in the machine's z-axis. When an important surface is oriented differently, setting can be adjusted. Cut direction adjustment can be applied to code at multi-sided relief cuts where the workpiece is rotated between machining operations. Create stock model controls clearance of additional stock around the edges of the 3D surface. In testing, Freemill always codes for some stock clearance even when using default zero offset values. Freemill generates single pass tool pass at a specified plane in the 3D surface. The default plane is centered between Z axis extents. Where multiple passes are required, it's not difficult to adjust parting plane level to create individual passes at different depths. Joining output sheet code files in the correct order results in a combined multi-pass tool path. Set machine zero stipulates machine zero position as top or bottom of the cut. Create select tool establishes length, profile radius, and diameter of the cutting tool. In this case, settings are for a rough and pass using an end mill tool with diameter of 6 mm. Set feed and speed allow spindle, feed, plunge, and retract speed to be applied. Once established, settings are persistent. Create machining operation is where tool step over and cut direction are established. In this case, tool step over amount is 3 mm or 50% of the tool diameter. Cutting occurs in the y direction. Generate reduces a roughing path that leaves 1 mm stop depth to be removed by a finishing pass. When tool pass generation completes, pressing the simulate button shows an approximation of the machine surface. The generated tool pass requires post-processing to G-code. A suitable code formatting module is selected from the list and the post button initiates processing. On completion of post-processing, FreeMill opens the result in Notepad. The file is saved using an identifiable file name. Creation of a finishing tool path differs only in settings of light to path generation. Parameter adjustments begin on the set part in plane page. Cutting allowance is not required for finishing. When generating finished tool path, a set part in plane value of zero is applied. Machine zero position setting is unchanged. Tool parameters to suit the use of a wall nose tool with diameter of 3 millimeters are applied. In this case, speed and feed settings are not adjusted. However, tool size and depth of stock removed by the finish test should be considered as these factors may call for cutting speed or feed rate adjustments. The finish path will cut in the default X direction at 90 degrees to roughen passes. A tool step over value of 10 to 15% of the tool diameter will reduce suitable finish and detail. Generate begins path creation. Finish paths take longer to generate as a result of much smaller step over values.
on completion of path generation, the resulting surface can be simulated. In testing, this simulation has close correspondence with cut results. The generated tool pass requires post-processing to sheet code. A suitable code formatting module is selected from a list and the post button initiates processing. On completion of post-processing, Freemail opens the result in Notepad. The file is saved using an identifiable file name. Results of tool padding should be confirmed using a sheet code viewer prior to executing the code. Result after execution of roughing passes. Result after execution of finish path. Alternate view of finish path results.